Hello, Nigel Griffiths here. We're going to look at the VIOS Performance Advisor. Everyone could do with a little bit of advice when setting up these systems, and so we can let the Advisor program take a look at your virtual I.O. server while it's running to give you some tips and things that need fixing in it. It's actually written by one of the top AX Labs Performance Tools developer, so they do know what they're doing, and it's available for you to freely download and use it anytime you like. You need to point your browser at this Developer Works AX Wiki page for the advisor itself. It's quite a long list of letters to type in, or you can use the tiny URL to get there in one go. There you'll find very simple instructions to follow on that page, or you can watch me do it now in the next couple of minutes. You download a zip file to your workstation, which usually means Windows. You then upload a binary to your VO server, run it, collect a data file, pull it back to your workstation, and then you use the advisor to generate the report. So here we are on the Developers Works AIX Wiki and the other performance tools page. And it's the first one on this page is what we're going to look at now, the VAO Server Performance Analyzer. This gives us a clear description of what we've got to do, and we'll just get on with that now. If we look down the, past the example output here, we have the download button so we can download the application. Nice and quick. I've moved that to a directory here called slash temp, so we'll open it up. And it's got a directory at the top, so we'll just drag and paste that here. Okay. If we go in here, we find we have the all the bits and pieces we need to actually run it. It is this first file, the VIO server underscore advisor, uh, 263k is the file that we're going to use to grab the data from the VIO server. So we'll FTP that to the VIO server. So I used FTP to move the file to my VIO server here, purple VIO1. I've logged in, become root, moved to the directory in which I put it, and here's the file. FTP, of course, strips off the execute permission, so we'll have to put that back on. And now we can run it. So if we just run it, it'll give us a few hints. Any parameter it takes is the duration of how long it's going to run in minutes. Recommended 30 minutes. Um, it goes from 5 minutes to a full day. I'm going to use 30 minutes uh, because uh, my machines aren't very busy. I'm actually going to have to go and generate some workloads for it to do. Um, I recommend perhaps you use a whole day would be nice. You will catch those busy periods as well and get some advice about what's happening when the VIO server is busy. So I've cleared the screen and run the VIO server advisor for 30 minutes. Nothing appears on the screen. It creates a uh, one byte file initially, a VIO server advisor.xml, and it will finish off writing that file in 30 minutes. Okay, we're back half an hour later. Um, spectacularly, nothing happened apart from we got the prompt back. If we look at the files here, we have the XML file. Now, this file we need to bring back to the workstation, in this case, my Windows machine, and let it have a look at the data. Okay, so I've done the FTP and put the file back uh, here. It is. And we're going to just run that file. Or is that open it? Had to allow some blocked content. I don't know what Internet Explorer thinks it's doing. But this is the report. I've made the font a little bit smaller. Probably means you can't read it very well, so let's make it bigger slightly again. And um, over here, it's got lots of information about my machine and the release of the tool we're using, VR server activities in here. Um, not a lot of problems. We see some of these uh, 
things are green lighted, so we're okay. IO block latency is fine and things. If we look over here, oh, we have a real one here. It says here that uh, real memory is 2 gigabytes for my VO server. It recommends 4.25 gigabytes of memory for my VO server. In the examples on the website, it also recommends if you haven't got enough paging space, uh, and uh, that can be alleviated by having more memory too. We see I'm not doing very much paging on this particular one. It says the uh, shed pool here is disabled at the moment. I'm using dedicated memory and a few more things at the top in here recommending things. We actually got uh, half a CPU entitlement and it says that's okay. And when you click on something, it gives you more information about what to do. Okay, really simple to use. In my case, I'm not using my VO server very heavily, so it's not reporting too many problems. And we can see up here actually, we've got the variable capacity weight. I've upped mine to 200 from the default of 128, and it likes that. It will complain about that if you don't do it. And that's it. Very simple to run and operate. High quality data based on watching the VO server actually run.